Hi girls, today we're gonna talk about linkages. A link is a rigid body that moves through space. A linkage is an assembly of links that constrain the movement of the body as a whole. Within linkages, a link is either fixed, able to rotate about a joint, or can slide. There are two types of joints. One is the revolute joint, which is when it can rotate around a single axis. The other type of joint is a prismatic joint, which means that it can slide along an axis like that. So a prismatic joint often means that there's only one degree of freedom in the system. Degrees of freedom define how constrained a system is. A single degree of freedom allows for movement along one axis. Two degrees of freedom allows for movement in two axes, and goes on, etc., etc. For example, here's a system with one degree of freedom. It can only rotate. But here's an example of a system with more than one degree of freedom. It can both rotate and translate along the second axis. Because the bodies of a linkage are rigid, the movement of the linkage can be modeled using geometry. Let's talk about a place you might find linkages in your daily life. Scissors are a great example of a common linkage. Each blade represents a link and then the joint in the center allows them to rotate. When you hold a scissor open, you form an X. What would happen if you combined several pairs of X's like this? Well, you'd get something like this. This ball is made up of a series of small X linkages that when uh, compact form a small ball and when expanded form a large one. Other common places to find linkages in your home include umbrellas and windshield wipers. Linkages are incredibly useful in robotics. They allow us to lift large objects reach tall places, or extend mechanisms outside of our frame perimeter. Let's talk about the type of linkages commonly used in robotics. The most common type of linkage found in robotics is the single jointed arm. A single jointed arm works the way it sounds. You have one link, which is fixed, and another link which rotates around a single joint. In a similar vein to the single jointed arm, you have a double jointed arm. So in a double jointed arm, uh, one link is fixed, and then two more links are connected through revolute joints. Typically, in a double jointed arm setup, this joint is referred to as the shoulder, and this joint is referred to as the wrist, and each of the two revolute joints can rotate independently of each other. Another type of linkage commonly found in robotics is the four bar. The number four refers to the amount of links in this system. One, two, three, four. Each of the links is connected to form a parallelogram with a revolute joint at each of the corners. When you rotate one of the links, it causes all of the links to rotate in a similar motion. This allows for a type of motion that has the fixed bar and the rotating bar remaining parallel, which allows you to, for example, lift an object without having to change its orientation. A really nifty linkage that builds off the concept of the four bar is the reverse double four bar, which is actually just two four bar linkages stacked. This is really useful when you need a mechanism that can collapse small, but reach to tall heights. Another type of linkage commonly found in robotics is one that we touched on earlier, the scissor. A scissor lift, sometimes referred to as a jack, is a linkage made up of pairs of X's that are joined by revolute joints on their ends, which allows them to collapse and expand. Scissor lifts collapse small and extend long, but don't be deceived. My number one rule for robotics is that scissor lifts lead to broken dreams. While these linkages work really well in car jacks or construction equipment, oftentimes for robotics applications, they are too heavy, too hard to machine, and too finicky to be worth the investment. The last type of linkage I'm going to show you is a cam. A cam is used to translate rotary motion into linear motion. Cams are often used in FRC for short repeatable actions, 
such as the trigger on a catapult or a kicker mechanism or a feeding mechanism. This is by no means an exhaustive list of the types of linkages that exist, but I hope this video helps you start to think about how to incorporate linkages into your different mechanisms. Thank you. Bye.